Braving a blustery breeze and light rain, these amateur photographers snap some of the last shots of a Victoria landmark. I've got mixed emotions because it's been here a long time and I think that it's a nice icon for the city and I'm sad to see it go. I'm sorry to see it go. I, I've been photographing it for years and without all the cranes. The first visible work to dismantle the Johnson Street Rail Bridge is now underway and people are showing up, cameras in tow, to take a look. And it's this 190 foot tall crane that's grabbing everyone's attention. This work involves the largest piece of uh, crane equipment that, uh, that I have seen that I think is uh, uh, involved the, the city of Victoria, 600 ton uh, crane barge. The crane is the largest single lift crane and barge combination in Western Canada. It's so big that it fills the entire navigation channel under the bridge. This is uh, an exciting uh, milestone in the, uh, in the project, uh, removal of the rail span. Uh, so that does uh, signal the rest of the work that's, uh, that's occurring. Over the next couple of days, crews will be disconnecting mechanical and electrical systems in preparation for Friday when the rail bridge and the 500 ton counterweight will be removed. Once the crew is finished with uh, the, the rail span lift, uh, which will be on Friday, and then it will be barged uh, up in the upper harbour to Rowmax uh, for uh, deconstruction, then the crew will focus on the, the tower and the concrete counterweight over the next couple of weeks. Lai says breaking up the counterweight will be noisy work, so don't expect any peace and quiet around the harbour over the next couple of weeks. And while work is underway, the city says expect delays, as one lane of the bridge will be closed. On Friday, the bridge will be closed to all traffic for about half an hour. Uh, getting all the rigging points uh, and, the, and the support cradle or support braces under the, uh, under the actual lift span uh, ready uh, so that when they are ready to actually do the lift, uh, it's a very short period of time. Lai says they don't know when the 30-minute closure will occur, but the city says it will post it on johnsonstreetbridge.com when crews can pinpoint the time. If you're an early bird, keep in mind the bridge will also be closed from midnight to 6 a.m. on Saturday. And if these large and complex cranes have you thinking of coming down and taking a look, Lai says safety is extremely important, so don't expect to get too close. We want to be able to uh, uh, at least keep folks back to the, uh, to the signalized intersections on either side of the, uh, of the harbour. So Squimalt and Taiyi on the, on the west side and on the east side uh, at Wharf Street. It's all very exciting for Ian Russell. He lives and works downtown and has been waiting patiently for the project to begin. I've been walking down like after work and at night and kind of looking at a site where not much is going on and it's it's kind of it's really special to kind of see a, a large uh, a large construction piece in the water right now and getting ready to get something done. Russell sits on the Johnson Street Bridge advisory panel and has been on board with the project since day one. Uh, more than anything, progress. And, you know, I, I kind of seen the, the way this bridge had gone and, you know, being someone who knows the seismic active zone we live in, uh, just thinking safety and the future of our city and um, the development of the Songhees area and some of the, the things that we can connect with the harbour pathways on the, uh, the west side. So it's the beginning of the end for Big Blue. The city says it will be the end of March before the entire rail bridge and counterweight are dismantled. Then sometime this spring the design of the new bridge will be finalized and construction is expected to begin next year. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.